All right, all right, all right. One more for you today. This is I Am Sure Sports. I'm Omar Stennett. Again, hope you're having a good day, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you're watching from. Listen, so the JPL, the first playoff game was just completed. That is a game between Mount Pleasant and Harborview. Very, very um, intense, good game. Um, at one point, it looked like the two leg uh, tie would be completed because Mount Pleasant. They were up by three goals to nil, but Harborview got a late goal. Yeah, um, in time added on to, 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 you know, to probably open up the opportunity of changing things for the second leg. So the game ended 3-1. Um, the first goal was scored by the teenager that plays for Mount Pleasant, the number seven, Devante Campbell, a 17-year-old, very, very, very... Um, good goal they caught Harborview on the on the counter. He came down the left hand side and fired it past um, the, the Harborview custodian um, at his near post. I think Lovell Palmer could have come across and probably prevented that, but he kind of stayed back and um, preventing the cross. And so the youngster, very good goal, took the opportunity to 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 fire it home. The second goal was scored in the second half by Kesan Hall. Um, the third goal of the season for him. A ball played over the top again, catching Harborview on the counter and um, broke down the right hand side and just clipped it over. Goalkeeper Chambers and two defenders, and Mount Pleasant were up by two goals to nil. Um, chasing the game, you know, uh, they conceded a third goal. That one was scored by Jordan Fletcher. Yes, Jordan Fletcher, you know him. Standout schoolboy football at Clarendon, at, at Cornwall College, out there in Montego Bay, former Moby United player. Um, represented the, the, the U teams here in Jamaica, scored a tap in inside the box to give Mount Pleasant a three goal lead. But uh, Richard Staple, I mean, playing at right back, firing a shot from almost 40 yards out, hitting the underside of the bar um, and then rebounding off the back of goalkeeper Akil Clark, the Guyanese in the Mount Pleasant goal. And then it was stopped in by Tyrese Williams, the youngster from Kingston College, um, who is from Trinidad and Tobago, to keep Harborview into the tie. Akwasa Chung had also hit the post earlier in the game. Um, but very, very, very good game. Um, I, I think Mount Pleasant has the edge. I picked them to, to, to win this series, and it looks like they are going to do so. Um, but very good game. Also, Gerald Neal Jr., he 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 had a broken or his shoulder slipped out so he was taken to the hospital which means he could be out for the second leg um and so that now leaves uh uh lovell palmer in center back as you know ajani talbot their captain and center back he went away and loan so they had to bring akeem Priestley back into that center back position that so that could hamper harborview going into the second leg but want to say well done to mount pleasant very very good game um they managed the game very well Devante campbell the score of the first goal the the 17 year old of mount pleasant he is the man of the match but i also believe that alwyn harvey um, one of these, the, the, the deep line midfielders that they use along with Kevon Isaacs played very well um, in the game. Um, so very good game for Mount Pleasant. Ladell Richie played well. Kevin, Kevin Lane, the, the Guyanese centre-back, played well alongside him. And they had Liston James on one side. And on the other side, they have Sule McCullough. Again, they had Alwyn Harvey and um, Kevon Isaacs with Daniel Green in midfield. With up front, they started with Devontae Campbell on one side, Jordan Fletcher on one side, and Kassan Hall at the center forward position. The Harbour View had Akeem Chambers in goal with Lovell Palmer, Gerald Neal. They had Harding who kept in the side. And then on the other side, they had Richard Staple. Then they had Priestley in, in, in midfield alongside Stewart. And they also had uh, Christo J. Daly who had a very good first half but kind of fade out um in the second half lennox uh, russell was also there robinson was there aquasa chang started the game but um they had some very good play but i think the mount pleasant team had too much ammunition for them today um don't see them coming back from uh, a two goal deficit um though uh, uh, the door 
they have been given a, 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 a little headway through the door and Mount Pleasant will be very sure to close it because if they don't, they could see themselves out. But very good game. That is the first game of two. The second game is about to begin. We will see Tivoli Gardens taking on Veer United and that, um, I, I again, I believe is going to be a close tie. I could see it going to penalty over the two legs and so my pick um is is tivoli gardens and penalty because i think veer has already over achieved all right so good game for mount pleasant um very good game if you have the opportunity to please watch it um some good football was played and a good solid defense you can see the two um um blocks of four that mount pleasant used um, in their team and Harborview they really pressed the game very 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 good especially in the first half since they ran out of steam in the second half and I'm very sure that I am sure that the good coach that Mr. Ludlow Bernard is he's going to come back with some plans for the second leg and that second leg will be on Wednesday at at three so so Wednesday is when the second leg will be played for both ties and so whatever happens there is going to be a second leg again i'm picking mount pleasant to go through because there are up three goals to nil they allowed one and so it is three it is three one at this time and so um yeah i don't see any more struggle in terms of mount pleasant going through uh, but good good tie um i'm very very excellent excellent game excellent season Again, um, big thank you to the sponsors and the organizers who get this going. I know that uh, Cavaliers and Waterhouse, they are just uh, chomping at the bits, just ready uh, for the semifinals to start. But they get an additional week of wait time. So that's what happened in the JPL um, today. Again, very good game. Mount Pleasant of St. Anne getting the better of... The, the guys, the harbor view, the stars of the east. So it was north versus east. And Mount Pleasant, good value for money. Good value for money. Good to see so many teenagers making a big difference in the game today. Again, people, if you have not yet, we're having some heavy showers. Did this video for you, so you're going to hear the showers in the background. Showers of blessing. All right, so if you have not yet, please, please, I want to encourage you to like subscribe and share our content right um, very important that is how you support the channel that is how you show us love like subscribe and share thank you for watching i am sure sports bless up